Praise the Lord. Praise him. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Hallelujah. Anyway. Hallelujah. Anytime. As I leave this alone. Father, thank you for things being as well as they are. People have the audacity to say, well, that could be worse. With a sense of um, being upset when they say that. They don't say it could be it could be worse by way of faith. They say it could be worse by way of anger. The 16th of December was the date and the day that I received the most awful phone call I've ever received in my life that my sister and my niece had found our mother and grandmother deceased. I heard weeping and gnashing of teeth in the background and the gentleman on the phone, so I'm calling from the Madison County Sheriff's Department. Is this Brother Davis? Uh, yes, sir, this is he. Uh, how can I help you? And he said, well, can you come home, sir? And I heard the crying and the gnashing of teeth in the background. And he goes, one of your family members want to speak to you. And I paused and I heard the weeping and gnashing and crying in the background. And I heard the voice say, mom is dead. Come home. It was my oldest sister, Ann. And I heard the phone drop and then someone else picked the phone up. And I heard the voice of a young girl. She said, Uncle T, come home. We need you. It was an awful, awful day. The last time I spoke to my mother was on my birthday, 12-12-2011. And she said, thank you for being a good son. I was my all the hell and rigmarole and street and savageness and wildness and gang banging and dope selling, dope doing, dope dealing. She said, well, you got yourself together and you joined the army and you fought yourself and won. And again, she said, thank you for being a good son. As I fight back tears, I, for four days I tried to call my mother after she said bye-bye. And little did I know we would be parting and departing that day, but although we did so on good terms. I didn't owe my mom any apologies. I didn't owe my mom any money. And I'm grateful for the relationship as a mother and son, as a parent and child we had. Every time I think about my mother, I reach for my cell phone to call her. And I just can't help it. It's, it's a heart reject. And, 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 and people need to understand that grief, that's what I'm trying to get to, is love. Grief is um, your heart checking on your mind, your existence, causing you to remember how you feel and felt about this person who has passed away, who has transitioned. Grief is love of missing someone. Grief is love of loving someone. Grief is love of wanting to hold that person's hand again as I land our father's spacecraft. So as I fight back tears for many years, thank you, Father, for my mother, my, my children who are deceased, my a twin sister who's deceased, both my brothers, my dad, and all my grandparents, Father. But those that you have blessed me to be supernaturally replaced, those who you have supernaturally replaced in the form of counsel, wisdom, friendship, friends, elders, Father, I'm grateful. Grief is love. It really is. Grief to me is God really is exercising faith. <laughs> G-R-I-F. God really is exercising faith in our grief. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Presence. Thank you, Shekinah Glory, for that uh, 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 illumination, Father. As I leave this alone, as I fight back tears for many years, I have grief and I grieve. But just remember that grief is not anger. Grief is not hate. Grief is not longing to pay someone back. 
grief is not happy that the person is, is dead. Grief is love. And our Father blesses us with love spelled backwards as evil. And the root word of evolution is, is evil. And, and, and evolution means to go from simplex to complex, Father. So thank you, Father. It's complex love that equates to grief, Father. As I leave this alone, I grieve my mom. <laughs> buried her on the 23rd of December, 2011. As I grieve for my baby brother, past November 2nd, Asperger's autistic. Buried him on November 10th, 2012. <laughs> As I grieve for my oldest brother, grief is love. <laughs> Passed away Christmas Eve, 2013. Father, thank you, Father, for grief, which is love, Father. Bless us, Father, to be strong for those who are left behind in life. Bless us, Father, to reconcile and recollect and, and, and with those who are still living after the death of our loved ones because death will bust up a family, Father. As I leave this alone, Master, thank you for my own grief that causes me to love and pray and to hold your unchanging hand, Father. Thank you, Father for the supernatural grief that is nothing more than a fraternal twin of love. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Bless us to grieve, uh, whereas it don't take us out and down and down through there. Bless us to grieve, Father, and to be strong and not to allow the grief to push us into depression or to a root of bitterness. But grief is love. God really is exercising faith in us with our grief. Thank you, Father, for this illumination and for this revelation and for this message from upon high. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah anyhow, hallelujah any place, hallelujah any time, and don't y'all forget, young man, don't y'all forget it all, man. Grief is love. Peace. That's the path of all understanding and one.